Hey everybody, it's Micah with Membarium, and today we get the pleasure of talking to Stephen Pryor, who runs Pryor Marketing Solutions, and he's agreed to give us a peek behind the scenes of a membership site that he's built and share some insights and some things he's learned along the way. So Stephen, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. I'm excited to show you guys uh, what we have been working on for uh, the last few months. Cool, cool. So before we dive into it, can you give us just a little background about kind of yourself and your business, how you got started and what you're doing? Yeah, well, I, I got started, you know, doing, you know, web development and web design, you know, like back when I was like 12. So I've been doing this now for, you know, over, you know, 12, 13 years. Um, you know, I started getting more into the marketing side of things um, through college. And then um, I got right after college, I uh, got a job uh with Laurel Langmire, who's a popular, um, like info marketer. And, you know, I, I've since left then, you know, started my own business and I do a lot of uh, stuff with, um, you know, speakers, you know, bigger name speakers like David Sharp, you know, John Carlo Braza, um, and a few other um, people in the industry, but we do stuff with, you know, within the financial industry, again, like the speaking industry. And, um, we have some real estate clients as well. So, um, we, we offer funnel development services and marketing um, services. Um, we also do the membership site development stuff, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my background. Gotcha. So um, just to clarify on that, when you, I'm looking at this site here, for example, did you do everything or is there like, do you do graphic design and stuff like that? Yeah, we do. We're, we're a full service, uh, you know, marketing agency. We we do all of the development, the design, um, the Infusionsoft uh, work, um, marketing strategy, um, and that kind of, that marketing strategy kind of you know as we'll as I'll kind of point out when we walk through the site, you know, that marketing strategy is kind of um, embedded throughout the membership site because this is mainly for front end products. So um, yeah, we we basically cover everything. Okay, cool. And so uh, obviously you're, you know, working with this company. A lot of times we'll talk to the company themselves. So can you also tell us real briefly, um, and then we'll dive into the details, but tell us real briefly about this company and what they're doing so we get the context. Yeah. So the Millionaire Mastermind was founded by uh, Giancarlo Brazza. Um, he's a, um, you know, a fairly successful uh, super affiliate. Um, so he does stuff, you know, like promoting ClickBank offers or, um, and I think he actually does a lot of stuff with other affiliate networks, um, that are more profitable. Um, but, uh, so basically, you know, he, he, the millionaire mastermind has a bunch of, you know, coaching programs, teaching people how to start from nothing and, you know, then become a, uh, affiliate marketer. So, um, there's now we have, you know, the front end products teaching people, you know, how to just get set up with affiliate marketing. And then, you know, we have three or four different packages, um, that will do that, um, provides like one-on-one -on -one coaching to, you know, get your campaigns up and running. So, you know, you, some of our students are making, uh, upwards to, you know, like two or $3,000 a week, just, just off, you know, their, their first CPA, you know, campaigns. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. So walk me through, if you don't mind, kind of the process, one of those customers is going to go through. So maybe it's from here that they end up on your site and, yeah, if you can take us through how they buy and get into the membership area and then what that's like uh, to get started, that'd be great. Yeah, so this is one of the, the variations of the, the sales page for the 24-hour commission code. And the 24-hour commission code is the entry point uh, to this funnel. We might play around with, you know, adding, you know, a like a free offer or like a lead magnet at the beginning of this. Um, so we're still kind of split testing, um, you know, all of the, the sales pages, but um so it, this, for the shopping cart, we actually utilize uh, Spiffy, which is a popular, you know, order form service um, that integrates with Infusionsoft. So it's really a really clean design. Um, and it, it, you basically put all of the, the, the template scripts inside of Infusionsoft. So as you can see, it's hosted by Infusionsoft.com. And that, that just makes it a lot easier in terms of, you know, passing, uh, information onto like upsell pages. Um, and so for the upsell page, you know, after they purchase, they're taken to this page and the 24 hour commission code is a video course. So we've created, you know, three or four different templates uh, or template sets rather. Um, and these are templates for PPC marketing, 
Um, so like Bing ads um, or um, like landing page templates. And we have some suggested offers that people should start off with when, when they you know, start their first uh, ClickBank campaign. So for $97 extra, you can uh, you know, add these uh, templates to, you, to your order. Um, and we're, to, to do this, what we're, we're using Membarium's one-click upsell. So this is all technically hosted on the membership site. It's just a public, you know, it's an unlocked page. Um, and so when they click, you know, this button, uh, action set, trip fires off inside of Infusionsoft and it adds the order. Okay. So just to clarify, when they're coming off that Infusionsoft order form that you styled with Spiffy, you are auto logging into the site, right? And that's how you're able to do this one click upsell page afterward. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry. So I just want to, we get a lot of questions about that. And uh, just for those of you listening, yeah, once you're auto logged in, you know, you, this is easy because you know who they are, you have their card on file and you can go with it. So sorry, I didn't want to interrupt, but um, so once they do, let's say they buy or they buy with the upsell, um, what is the next step? Like if they click that there, what happens? So as of now, we just send them to the membership site. So this account, this test account that we are um, um, using uh, doesn't have the, the actual templates. So if they haven't purchased the, um, the templates, we give them the opportunity on the, the membership site homepage to um, do a one-click upsell for that, the $97 product. Um, and then uh, obviously the advanced CPA marketing system, that's something that we're, we're, we're currently working on. It's actually going to be like a physical box set. So we're trying to figure out um, what's the best way to, you know, incorporate an online element with that. So that should be coming in, you know, a month or two. But um, the, the, main, the main online course piece of this is the 24-hour commission code. Um, so if we open up the module, it goes to just an intro page. Um, and they can start the lesson right here. Man, I really like how it's got a custom look and feel. Like at least I haven't seen it, but it's so simple, like big kind of blocky buttons, you know, not too many options. It looks nice. Yeah, definitely. We used uh, Thrive uh, Content Builder and Thrive Themes to build this out. And uh, I'm a huge proponent of that. Like they, I think their interface um, is um, really easy and somewhat fun to work with. Um, you know, I've, I've used Optimized Press before and, you know, that's great. But um, Thrive, just the elements that they provide are just, you know, really, really clean and it's completely custom um, customizable. So uh, we really, um, the Millionaire Masterminds, you know, marketing and all of their like assets, like graphics, um, videos, um, they really have this kind of like sleek feel to them. So we really wanted to incorporate that when we were building out this, this membership site. Gotcha. You know what I like too, um, and if you don't mind jumping back to that homepage, what I think is cool here and really smart is, you know, you can auto log them in and send them right to the content, but you're doing a couple things like offering that upsell, teasing them about the advanced system, um, and sending them their content. I just, I think that's pretty clever. Um, out of curiosity, the upsell, if you do click that button, does it go to like a confirmation page or what happens? Yeah, it does. I don't, with this test account, I don't have a credit card attached to it. Um, and, and that's okay. I, I was just curious, like I wanted to just, uh, for those of you listening, um, I'm guessing you send them to the confirmation page just because they're going to need more info uh, before being sure they want to spend that 97 bucks, right? Well, uh, yeah. So we, we'll send them to a confirmation page and then they click the button and then um, they um, they can purchase. Yeah, cool. No, and um, just like side note uh, for customers looking at this, if you just had that as the action set button and they clicked it and got billed 97, some people may have thought they were going to a confirmation page um, and might be upset by that. They may not have meant to order it. So um, and I only mention it because it's happened a few times and you'd rather not give people refunds for accidental upsells as part of their new member experience, right? So very cool. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out because it's, you know, seems fairly simple, but I like how you're getting a lot done on this page um, pretty effortlessly. Yeah, and we we also, again, like we, these are all of our, you know, beginner clients or they're not even really, you know, clients, at, you know, at this point, they've, you know, they've purchased a $47 uh, 
product. So we've incorporated some sales elements. And this is something we're, you know, going to be testing out and kind of, you know, looking at, you know, some of the, um, you know, like hot jar analytics and stuff just to see, you know, how people are interacting with, with this page. Um, but for now, the general idea is, is that this, this uh, membership site not only provides the content, but it, it indoctrinates uh, people to, or it, it indoctrinates people into the, the millionaire mastermind and what we represent. And it gives them other, you know, opportunities to get more involved with us. Um, so and the other cool thing just to point out is you can see right here, the affiliate or fast start uh, training. This is actually an auto webinar funnel that we, we have. Um, this is our main funnel. This generates the most, um, most of our sales at the moment, um, or at least our back end sales. And it's an application funnel. So what we did was we created, you know, a, a variation of the stealth seminar event um, just for my millionaire mastermind leads so we can track that. Um, but also when people, if people have access to my millionaire mastermind and they've already registered for this auto webinar, we don't want to send them back to this page ever. So what we've used Mimbarium for is to actually change the menu. And we have some um, like native ads throughout the membership site for the fast start training um, so after people have registered, this link will change to the actual application. So um, whether or not they've gone through the training or not, we, you know, the next step in the funnel is to get them to um, apply. And that, give, that basically just gives them, you know, uh, 30 to, you know, 60 minutes of uh, free time with one of our uh, strategists. So we, the, the entire, you know, purpose of the site is to kind of get people to, um, stay engaged with, you know, all of our funnels. Yeah, I love it. So real quick, um, and I might have you jump into the back end here and there. You, we don't have to now, but uh, without getting too nerdy, I'm guessing for the menu, you're using the menu items visibility plugin as well, or is it something different? Yeah, exactly. We're using that. And then um, you guys have, you know, provide some documentation on, you know, I, I, we're, we're basically controlling the visibility off tags, um, because we're, we're pulling the registered for webinar tag to control the visibility on that. Gotcha. Very cool. And, um, you know, anyone who has any questions about any of these, we'll just kind of mention them so we don't have to dive into it, but you can always reach out to support or look it up on the site. Um, so no, this is cool. And sorry to bring you back here. So if you do go back into a lesson, um, you know, we go in and open that is yours out of curiosity. Is it something where, um, they have to go one at a time or can they skip ahead or how did you structure that? Yeah. So we let them skip ahead. Um, we don't, we don't have any quizzes or, um, you know, any criteria for you guys to move on. Um, we might, we were thinking about creating another, another product that's more, more like a, you know, a certification that uses, you know, something like learn dash. Uh, but at this, at this time we, we kind of want people to be able to go, go through this at their own pace. Um, but, we are thinking about some higher level courses that will uh, will control the actual flow of um, of the material that they're consuming. Gotcha. Cool. Um, so, could you show me maybe an in infusion soft? I would be curious to see some of the supporting campaigns for this. Like, what are you doing from that side? Yeah. So the one thing that we're still testing a lot of the marketing for this, but I can kind of show you how we deliver um, everything, um, hold on. Okay, so it's, it's a pretty simple um, campaign at this point. Uh, we have a trigger tag just so for customer support. Um, and we also have the, the, the purchase goal right here for the 24 hour commission code. Um, with this, you know, we send it to Mimbarium, we apply the membership tag, and then we send them a delivery email. It's pretty, you know, short and sweet. Okay. Um, and then we have a, an auto login link when people click the button. So um, we use, you know, campaign merge fields um, just, to, just for the, the support email. Um, and then uh, we, we apply just a purchase tag, and we have just – these are just certain lists that we um, are using just to segment all of our customers. So um, 
it, it's pretty basic at this point for, for now. Um, and then we use billing automation. So if, um, let's just say the, the rapid results template uh, upsell doesn't go through, we remove access and we send them an email that says, hey, your order didn't go through, you know, please update your credit card information. Yeah, gotcha. Um, so keeping it fairly simple on that side, um, what was one of the more challenging parts of building the site, would you say? Um, I mean, it wasn't super challenging. You know, we just need, needed to make sure that all of, you know, the the short codes and especially the the menu visibility and this is the ad that I was telling you about before. Um, we wanted to make sure that it was um, dynamically, you know, updating based on um, where people were at within uh, our overall company funnel. Um, but overall it was pretty smooth. Uh, we, you know, it took a while to create all of the assets and stuff as well. Um, we, we started the, we created the product using a recording from a, like a high level event that we did. And we just, you know, modified that. So it, you know, it looked really well um, as an online course. So, um, and then, you know, we created the transcripts, um, the audios. Um, you know, this is the, the transcript right here. So we created a really cool um, PDF template for all of the, um, for all of the different modules. Um, but overall, it wasn't, you know, super difficult, smooth project. You know, um, I bet it was a lot of work, though, just like what I think you've done an especially good job of is leveraging stuff. So if you're saying this came from an event to display it, not just as a membership site, but to take the time to do the transcript, which looks really great. Um, and I'm sure the audio is great and, you know, has a little intro and all that. So just like the consistency and the branding and then what I want to point out to a lot of people is you're, you know, taking full advantage of the content you do have by providing it in these different ways and making the pages look so nice. The same content could just be, you know, a block of videos on a page or one page full of videos. And so this really does add a ton, a ton, a ton of value, uh, perceived perceive value, and I guess becomes real value. But um, I also was just really kind of mulling over the fast start training strategy and it's kind of settling in more and more with me how cool that is that, you know, you're using an evergreen webinar, not as part of a front end sales funnel, but for existing members where it really does kind of look like it's training and live training that's happening now. And as I understood what you said, that's really more of an upsell play, right? Like the webinar, I'm sure there's training, but it ends in them applying for a higher end program or. Yeah, it, 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 it leads them to an application page. And then from there, you know, our strategist will try to get them into um, one of our more advanced programs. And we have like three or four different, you know, options based on the income situation and, you know, their interest level in, you know, affiliate marketing. No, it's great. I mean, it's what most people should be doing. So most people probably have about this much content and I haven't been through the site, but I'm guessing about as much content um, as I'm seeing here, you know, they've got a little body of content and then, you know, leveraging it this way, I think is just really smart. It's a perfect example. So um, what do you feel is maybe unique on the site that you did? Um, I mean, in terms of uniqueness, you know, I think, you know, as we talked about, like the, you know, the, the different upsell opportunities, you know, how we kind of um, integrated that with, you know, the content, um, but, you know, overall, we just really wanted to, you know, create a really good looking, you know, website that is going to give people a really good first impression um, about, you know, our company. So I think, you know, we did a, a fairly good job doing that. Yeah, very cool. Um, how do you guys handle support? I see the item up there, but what do you use for that? And how much do you offer your members? Um, so we use, you know, Rhino support um, in terms of, uh, the, the, the level of support that we give people, it depends on, you know, what, what products that they have. Obviously if they have a coaching program, we, you know, the whole point of it is to give, you know, like one-on-one -on -one support. Um, but if they have any technical issues and stuff, we have a ticketing system that people use. Uh, we also, it, it, this company is really unique in the, the sense that we, we really utilize Skype chats. It's, <laughs> it sounds kind of like primitive, but you know, when people, um, you know, purchased a, um, you know, uh, a six or $7,000, you know, program or a, a $15,000 program, 
you know, we want to, we want to be accessible to them, you know, as much as possible. So, you know, some of our students even have access to Gianni, who's the main, um, you know, speaker. So they can just, you know, hit him up anytime they want, you know, over Skype. And, you know, he dedicates, a, you know, um, a block of time each, um, uh, you know, each day to, you know, answer those questions. Um, but uh, yeah, so those are the two, I guess, support methods that we have is just the ticketing system. And then for our coaching um, program, we, we utilize a lot of like one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, contact. Gotcha. And that to me is really interesting um, because a lot of people are trying to, you know, still provide value to their audience, but also limit their exposure. So does he have any issues with that being too available to his clients or at that level? Is it just kind of whatever they want? Um, well, you know, we don't, again, he doesn't, um, not everybody has, you know, full access to him, but we also have a team of, um, I think we're at like six coaches right now. Um, so, you know, it, it all gets distributed, you know, pretty evenly and we'll continue to grow as we, you know, our, the amount of students that we have grows. Um, but as of now, it hasn't created any, you know, program. We, we just feel that, you know, if people are going to invest that, that level of money with us, that we should be, you know, readily available. I've worked with, you know, some companies um, that, you know, they'll, they'll spend, you know, 20, you'll spend $20,000 with them and, you know, you'll have to wait like a day or two just to get a, you know, a basic email back or, you, you know, if you um, have a coaching call, you have to wait until that coaching call. So um, I really like that about, um, you know, the Millionaire Mastermind. They, they do a really good job, you know, interacting with their students and making sure that, you know, all of them, you know, reach some sort of level of success based on whatever their goals are. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, no, that's great. I, Manbarium, we try to provide high-end support as well, uh, but I know it's always kind of a, how you position that to make sure that expectations are managed, you know, is usually an issue that comes up. Um, so I want to bounce around a little bit. I'll go something, we'll get nerdy for a second and then I'll come back to sales. Can you maybe show me on the back end of the site? Can we go look at a list of the plugins that you use? Yeah, I'll give me one second. Yeah, so you mentioned you're using Thrive with Apprentice, it looks like. And I, I love Thrive as well. I didn't realize that's what you were using there. Looks great. Um, so maybe walk us through some of the plugins you're using and why, just in case people want to do some of the same stuff. Yeah. Um, so we, we got to update some of these plugins for security reasons. Uh, but uh, so anybody watching this, please don't hack our website. Um, but uh, yeah, so obviously we, we use Mimbarium and I2SDK. Um, and then we, we use menu uh, items, visibility control. Um, we're, a huge proponent of Thrive. And one of the reasons we like using Thrive is it kind of minimal, minimizes, there's like so many features with Thrive, it kind of minimizes the amount of plugins that we need to use, um, which is which really important for like website speed and um, overall the security um, of, of the website. Um, and then, you know, we, we use, you know, WP MooDev. Um, we're using their snapshot snapshot. Uh, uh, plug in right now, but um, we plan on using some of their other stuff like, you know, for branding or, um, you know, page load time. That's really important with this particular project because we want to have a really smooth uh, customer experience. So um, we're trying to kind of minimize the amount of plugins that we um, are using. Obviously, we, we talked about it before, the menu items, visibility control. That's what's controlling um, our menu. I can show you that. Yeah, and I just, um, for those of you listening, he said some things that uh, just in, so it doesn't go over anyone's head. The less plugins you have, the more secure your site is. So when he's talking about how Thrive kind of does the job of multiple plugins, he's just saying, you know, any plugin you have is a potential risk and it, you know, kind of depends where it comes from and what it does. But yeah, less plugins means less security risk and better performance as far as speed, which affects all sorts of things. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. Obviously, you know, you guys you know, are like Mimbarium. You guys are an established company. WP Mudev, they're a very, like, established company. They have a, you know, you guys have teams that, um, you know, take security, um, you know, seriously. And there's a lot of plugins, though, like plugin developers that um, they only care about the functionality of it. They don't, you know, they don't think, you know, three steps ahead when, you know, WordPress updates their their platform, how that's going to, 
it, you know, whether or not that's going to create like security vulnerabilities, um, you know, with those plugins. So um, we try to do our best to stay with, you know, stay with companies that provide plugins that are just well established and, you know, well supported. Gotcha. So um, you're going into the menu item visibility stuff, right? Go ahead. Yeah. Um, so the fast start training, that's obviously, um, that is what people see um, if they've not registered for our affiliate fast start uh, webinar. Um, it's controlled based off tags. So um, this is shown to everybody who does not, that's what the exclamation point is, that does not have tag ID 2068. Let's see, 20, secondary menu, I think. Nope, sorry, we're on the right page. Um, and then right here, um, we have two different levels of, um, um, I guess, conditional statements. Um, one is if they've already registered for the affiliate fast start, and then two, if they've not applied already. So this, this tag, this is the tag that when people apply um, for, for a strategy call, we will apply this tag to them and that helps um, just control the visibility of the CPA strategy call. Gotcha. And for those of you watching, what he did there by having mem has any tags uh, twice, is it similar to an infusion where you say must have this tag and this tag versus either of these tags? Yeah, correct. We, we wanted to make sure that the right people were seeing that offer. Yeah, very cool. Um, was there any other custom coding that you had to do to make all this work? No, it was actually a pretty, you know, straightforward, you know, project. Uh, you know, we, we obviously did some like custom, you know, CSS um, stuff, but nothing too, too crazy. But we, we, we rely heavily on, you know, you know, Thrive um, and some of their you know, like supporting plugins. Gotcha. Yeah. And on your plugin list, I thought that was interesting because uh, it's already shorter than most people's plugin lists, but when I was looking at it, it's like, you know, a couple of those are Thrive and a couple of those are Membarium. So really you don't have too much there. Yeah. We, we did a really good job trying to like minimize the, the footprint of, of the plugins. Yeah. Um, what would you say, and maybe there isn't one, but uh, is there any like mistake that you made as you made the site that you would do differently? You know, I, I think, you know, we, we definitely are still experimenting with, um, you know, the sales page and, you know, basically the, the sales process, that's going to be something that we, we need to, to tweak a lot. Um, you know, so that, that's definitely not a, you know, a finished product. And, you know, obviously in over time we will, uh, um, you know, kind of revamp everything, but we're, we're pretty happy with what we we've, we've produced, um, so far. And then, you know, this is a good starting point, um, for us to, you know, keep building this out. We, we plan on, you know, releasing a bunch of other uh, new products using using this membership platform. Um, so we're, um, we're pretty excited about that. Okay. So it sounds like your roadmap is keep working on the funnel and then add more products into the same site. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, we, we need to make sure that the, the flow um, is, you know, in sync with everything else. Um, and that's kind of why, you know, I, one of the things I guess, you know, this membership site is, you know, missing is a lot of the, um, you know, email marketing sequences that um, could be attached to the behaviors of um, the website. So, for example, if somebody, you know, views a, you know, completes a course or completes a page or if they view, you know, a page, we can apply a tag and that sends them into a drip sequence trying to get them to keep uh, digesting the content. Um, so that, that's definitely something that we, we plan on, you know, implementing, um, in the near future. Um, so I guess that, you know, if, if there's, you know, a, um, a chink in the chain, that would probably be, be it as just the, the automation on the back end in terms of like email marketing. Um, but overall we're like really happy with, you know, how it, it came out. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks actually pretty awesome and, uh, knowing what's behind some of that. Um, I know it's not necessarily hard, but some of it is tedious. It's a lot of work. Uh, so I think it's really cool. I, so I, I know you do uh, services yourself, but let's say, do you have any advice for somebody who is just starting out, who's not going to hire a consultant and is going to build it themselves? What kind of general advice might you give them? Well, I, I think, you know, the, 
the, the best place to start, um, and you know, I know we're talking about membership sites, but it just kind of go, goes with that is figure, figuring out like the position of, um, you know, whatever product you're trying to build within inside your company's ecosystem or within your, your company's funnel. So is this going to be a front end product? Is this going to be a membership site for your $2,000 product or your you know, $10,000 coaching program? So it's really important to identify, you know, where the product that you're building is going to um, be positioned within your funnel. So you can develop a strategy on, um, you know, how you want to, um, to, to set up the site. So that goes back into creating, you know, the, the, the webinar offers and you know, the upsell opportunities. We knew that this website was going to be, you know, a front end, you know, for front end products. Um, so we tailored it that way. So it's important just to kind of, you know, have a, a, a game plan in terms of like what you want to use um, this product, you know, for like we, you know, I have a, you know, a few clients, um, not too many, but that, you know, they want to build a membership site, but they don't know, where that's going to fit in with everything else that they want to do. Is it going to be a front end offer? Is it going to be, um, um, is, is it going to be the back end offer? Um, and that's, you know, also important in terms of pricing. You can't figure out pricing unless you know where it's going to fit into, to your product. So, um, I don't know if that answers your question, but I, I definitely think, you know, knowing where your product fits in is, you know, one of the important things that people kind of, uh, don't spend a lot of time thinking about. Yeah, I think that answers it perfectly. Very on point because you're right. A lot of people aren't quite thinking as strategically as they could. They know they want one, but yeah, figuring it out how it fits into the grand scheme of things is going to go a long way. I think people get the idea that it works for so-and-so, so I'm going to make one and it's going to work um, and I'm going to make this money, but they don't realize that so-and-so has got quite a few systems built around that. Um, if you're at liberty to talk about it, I'd be kind of curious. You know, we kind of, you mentioned, uh, you know, this mastermind, uh, millionaire mastermind company. What, what is, how does this membership site fit into the grand scheme of things? When you guys approached, you know, developing it, what were, were some of the thoughts and discussion? Why did you do it versus something else? So they're a really interesting company. Um, they've, you know, done, you know, several million just, um, you know, basically with this affiliate fast start funnel. And then we, we have a couple other very similar funnels talking about different subjects, but the, the premise of it is, you know, they, they've, you know, it's just an auto, you know, webinar that goes to an application and, you know, we have a, you know, an, a, an amazing, you know, strat strategy team um, that, you know, helps support the sales, but we haven't even had merchant processing up until recently. Um, we, everything was done through like wire transfers, um, and occasional PayPal, uh, transactions. Uh, so we really wanted to, to kind of, you know, automate or systematize everything so that it wasn't, um, you know, the, the whole sales process and the old funnel, the whole funnel wasn't just, um, you know, super hands-on like, like it was. Um, and we also need, wanted to, you know, to, to qualify, um, our leads more and a you know somebody who registers for a, a a webinar isn't the most qualified lead obviously if they fill out the application and they express interest in you know what we're we're, we're teaching that's a more qualified lead but um the you know having those low level products that people can um you make those like micro commitments with that that at the end of the day uh, creates a really, you know, qualified lead because, you know, once, you know, it's the whole like digital marketer, you know, spiel, like once people, um, you know, invest a little bit of money with you, they're more inclined to um, invest more with you. So um, does that answer your question? Yeah, I think it does. Um, well, it definitely does. And so just to, to try to summarize a little bit and, you know, correct me here if I'm wrong, but you, it sounds like you had kind of a high dollar, high touch model that was taking a lot of time. And so you're trying to build a qualifier on the front end to save time and then systemize as much as possible to also save time and just, I guess, scale and increase profit, right? Yeah. And to just, just having, you know, that, um, that direct sale revenue that wasn't tied to any, you know, sales reps and stuff, you know, we were able to get, um, a few, you know, merchant accounts, uh, 
um, uh, and you know, just being able to sell a product online, we can you know drive Facebook ads to that or a lead magnet, and after the lead magnet, people will see this offer. And there's a lot of things that we can do just to get that you know that that the easy you know direct sale revenue. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and uh, just something, just since it's been on my mind a little bit, um, but just to point out for those watching what's kind of interesting about this is where they have the high end, you know, where they have a back end product that they can sell this front end membership site stuff. You know, when you talked earlier about it being part of an overall strategy, this to them, I'm guessing they could almost lose money on it if it generated leads and qualified them, but I'm imagining they'll make money on it. So just, just kind of saying no matter which way you go, if you're going from like high dollar down building a membership site on the front end for all the reasons Steven's talking about is great. And then if you start at the bottom, as soon as you have something higher to offer, it makes you a lot more competitive marketing wise. Cause I'm guessing if you wanted to, Steven, you guys could spend more than, you know, most other companies in this niche, just because you've got this back end offer that, you know, if one in a hundred front end people converts to pays for it. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, it, it gives us the flexibility, um, you know, those back end sales gives us the flexibility to kind of experiment with, you know, uh, you know, different, you know, Facebook ads, different landing pages, you know, we have a little bit more of like an allowance in terms of that. We, we use, um, you know, Sam Bell and network marketing, our network market resources to do all of our Facebook ads. And he does a tremendous job, but um, just having that security that, you know, this, this, the front end is not going to make or break the business. That's, it's, it's, it's key. It's, it's really important. Yeah. And it allows you to approach it with quality, um, which is what I'm kind of seeing throughout is good quality stuff. Um, so, so speaking of which, cause you're the one doing all the work, like if someone's interested in having something similar done for them or working with you, um, first of all, since I've have this opportunity, um, what, uh, you know, you say you're full service with all of that. Is there anything specific or special that you do? Uh, you know, Aside from what they've seen here, is there other stuff that they should know about you as opposed to someone else maybe building sites? Um, well, we everything we do, you know, it, it, we it, it's marketing focus. So um, we don't we don't build any front facing websites. Like you know, we're not going to go out to um, you know like a flower store, you know, like a local flower store, and try to get them on as you know, clients, um, just to build their, their front facing website. So we specifically focus on, um, you know, marketing funnels and then membership sites that can support those particular funnels. Um, we, we, you know, I view, um, both of those as, you know, I, I view membership sites as tools, um, in, in the grand scheme of thing and the grand scheme of things in terms of like a marketing strategy. So I think that's what kind of, you know, makes, you know, our membership sites unique. Uh, I mean, there's some, I'm sure there's other people out there that, that, that have that same mindset, but, um, that, that's all we specialize in. If, if it has, you know, if it's not going to, um, to, you know, if the project isn't going to, um, be marketing, marketing oriented, then, you know, probably not the best people to, to, um, to do that. So, um, we, we kind of, you know, have kind of carved out that niche and we've been pretty successful at that. Gotcha. Very cool. And I like that a lot because there's a lot of people who are like, I don't know, academic or maybe <laughs> purists or something with their ideas that uh, don't, you know, I mean, there's a range, like everyone knows they need some marketing, but I'm just saying having that marketing focus, what I usually have to convince people like that of is like the more you market and the more you make, the more you can get your message out there. So it's not just you know, hey, let's make more money. It's like, okay, if you, you know, a lot of people will say, well, I just want to spread the message. I want to teach people. I want to help people, which I totally get because so do I. Um, but it's, you know, to get out there, you're going to have to make some money along the way. You're going to have to market. And so having the marketing first approach, I think is the only way to go. Um, and obviously the product has to be there or it's not going to be sustainable. But so many people just, you know, they overthink the content and the delivery, which is valuable. We talk a lot about that. You want to make it cool. Um, but if, if you don't market it well enough, you know, it just doesn't really matter. So I love that. Um, if someone's interested in working with you, how do they contact you? Or do you have anything special going on? Like anything uh, you want to offer or talk about? Um. Well, if if you you got if anybody's interested in working with us, you guys can you know visit our website at um, 
priormarketing.com or you can just email me directly. Uh, my email is Stephen, S-E-P-H-E-N, at priormarketing.com. And yeah, if you guys are, you know, already member, uh, membering and users, uh, we, we can offer, you know, uh, discounts on, you know, the, our project-based pricing. We've done that in the past for, um, you know, uh, previous Membarium customers that we've worked with. Um, so we're always happy to support the Membarium uh, community. We're, you know, ex we're happy that you guys, you know, chose to feature um, our website, you know, on one of these, you know, walkthroughs. So we, we, we like what you guys are doing. Well, ditto. Um, and I really appreciate you coming on. Like, I'm, you know, happy to have you uh, talk about whatever here and we'll put links under the video because you've been really gracious with your time and, you know, showing us through that and sharing what you guys are doing. So really appreciate it, Stephen. Thank you. Well, thank you.